Hello dear learners, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Anil Prakash Sharma, Director, Ideal Institute of Management and Technology and School of Law, affiliated to GGS IP University, Delhi. Well, learners, today we will talk about the topic, Teacher Today, a Reality Check. Our objectives are to learn about teacher challenges prevailing in India at present, to enhance our knowledge about realities of teacher education, to provide information regarding human resource planning, to know about the problems of teacher absenteeism in India, to develop our understanding about present teaching scenario in schools, expected outcomes. After going through this lesson, the learner will be able to know about the challenges and realities of teacher education in India, understand the need for a better education system in schools, explain the problems of teacher absenteeism in schools, narrate the perception of students about the teachers, explain the role of teacher education in schools. Teacher preparation has always been a huge challenge. Manpower planning, developing knowledge base, bridging the gap between expected teaching skills, competencies and practice. Expected curricula and practice curricula. Matching teaching styles with learning styles. Integration of taxonomy of educational objectives and skills for inclusive education play an important role. Specialization in emerging areas such as peace education, value education, yoga education, ICT in education also require our attention. The present demand is to groom a lifelong autonomous learner and to evolve child inspiring methodology along with a child centered approach. The teacher need to be prepared with the past curriculum and expected to prepare the futuristic vision, but it shows mismatch. pre teachers initially get confused between university prescribed lesson designing and researcher introduced approach. Presently, very competitive teachers are required for that and the teacher training should be strengthened. The present pre-service teacher education is under pressure to provide teachers who would be capable of dealing with the learners that are the part and parcel of the globalized and highly technical world contributing the competent teachers to the society to create and manage the quality education is highly challenging. Now, who is a good teacher? A teacher is thought to be the backbone of the country, architect of the society, closest to the children. He has to be self-confident, inquisitive, faithful, dutiful, simple and humble, a role model for the learners, promoter of participatory approach, civilized ideal citizen and above all, a friend, a philosopher, a guide, sincere and hardworking. Socially sensitive, professionally committed, autonomous, accountable and fast renewing. He is thought to be a constructivist and connectionist. He is considered to be an ICT skilled person. He is thought to be an action research oriented person. He is required to be humane and professional outlooker. He is also expected to be an e-teacher and e-parshala oriented along with multiple intelligence and universal outlooker. But the trade is that sometimes the teacher feels void of being a teacher and end up the day in non-teaching activities. A teacher is expected to fit everywhere. Now let us see what do NCFTE 2009 and NCF 2005 say. CCE, that is Continuous Comprehensive Evaluation, has its own strengths and limitations. 
CCE is a powerful regulator. CCE is the voice of the children and when they say play way activities we play, the science we experiment, the mathematics we speculate, the stories we narrate, games we play, musical notes we generate, keep us healthy and gay. CCE activities have made studies rejuvenating for teachers, learners, parents and society. We may be tired after our day's work, but we don't feel tired at all. CCE is a band of rhythm, rhyme and resonance. It helps the learners with innovativeness, creativity and efficiency. Whether it be a watchman, sports staff, sweepers, gardeners, mess staff, office staff, parents, society, CBSC, management, the primary section coordinator, principal, all function synergetically. There is added focus on multiple intelligence and life skills. It focuses on multiple intelligence and life skills it promotes critical pedagogy in various dimensions of the school through cooperative learning, participatory approach and action research. Critical pedagogy has been promoted in various dimensions of the school through cooperative learning, participatory approach and action research. Attempts to motivate from marginalized section of the society for expression of their knowledge and skills related to work to have cumulative human experience, including children from other sections of the society. Very few attempts have been made to develop citizenship skills. There is evident rejection of the old and acceptance of the new. There are segregated schools on the basis of public and private, medium of instruction, religion, region and school boards. This segregation has resulted into the fragmentation of the society. There are marked differences between municipal corporation schools and private schools, native schools and international schools. The private school students have higher academic achievement, but they might undergo ethos related uh, limitations. A non-native language for instruction may be a barrier in constructing knowledge. Children still are deprived of the learning opportunities that occur in classroom with children from diverse socio-economic and cultural backgrounds. A large number of public schools still suffer from shortage of facility of infrastructure. It affects adversely academically learning as well as overall health of the children. There is shortage of teachers with teaching competencies and teaching attitude, with humane and professional teaching aptitude. Teacher education curricula and modes of transaction approaches to inculcate universal values that is truthfulness, compassion and forbearance need to be channelized. School education has to be strong enough to appreciate the preamble of constitution of India, which demands determination and action to constitute, sustain and strengthen India into a sovereign, socialistic, secular, democratic, republic state. The sharp disparities between different social and economic groups are everywhere in the perceptible range in India which make the children of the disadvantaged groups educationally most vulnerable. Even with having large number of multi-grade schools based on mechanical principles of teacher-pupil ratio with one kilometer of each habitation still do not cater to compatible pedagogy. Child-centered education needs improvisation. Constructivist learning approach needs vigorous implementation. Activity-based approach needs to be strengthened. 
competent teachers are required to deal with inclusive classes. Diagnosis and remediation should be expedited. School stereotypes such as notion of uneducable children, marginalized groups, gender type stereotypes, children with disabilities, first generation learners should be done away with immediately. The home language and school language needs to be abridged. A vast array of human vocations like weaving, carpentry, farming, occupations such as shopkeeping, etc., constitute a valuable form of knowledge and need to be taken care of properly. Curricular and co curricular activities need to be up to the mark as Many children in English medium schools are not at ease with English. Mathematics, teaching learning is dull and dry. History and civics are taking a back seat. No sensitivity to cultural heritage and religious heritage and Eastern values. Social sciences cease to have normative responsibility. Science is losing scientific outlook and inlook. Holism is a fragment of imagination. Health education, human rights education, environmental education, art education, physical education, education for peace and harmony need to be strengthened. Now let's see what are the challenges and reality. Manpower planning is improper in teacher education. There is a remarkable increase in the number of teacher education institutions. There are mismatches between the teaching degrees and levels taught. Some of the states filled new vacancies with para teachers while trained teachers remained unemployed. Honorarium per month of the para teachers appointed in different states is very less. In some of the states, such as MP, Gujarat, future teachers in the formal system will be Shiksha Karmis, Shiksha Sahayak on performance contact. Thousands of Indian teachers abroad, especially in West Asia, particularly the United Arab Emirates, teaching mathematics, science and English are maximum demand. There are problems of education right from prenatal stage to old age. Children are losing their beauty of childhood. The Eastern ethos and sensitivity to the basic values are fading. Children are interested in fast and junk food than homemade food. Children are going far away from nature due to our failing in sustaining the beauty of nature. The hectic schedule of the schools is killing the creativity of the children. Cell phones and social media is becoming the death nail to the students' studies. Tweets, Skypes, and WhatsApp are becoming a huge nuisance for the children day by day. Adolescents are bewildered. The role of the sociologists, psychologists, and counselors need to be increased at a larger scale before it's too late. Set, net, tell, tat need to be looked into again. There is little convergence amongst state, society, education, and judiciary. School education, teacher education, medical education, engineering education, law education, art education, science education, all need to bring solutions to learning instead of becoming problem unto themselves. Education, research, and development are the least priority as is evident from the educational budget by the states. Apex institutions such as NCERT, NCTE, NUEP, ICSSR, CIIL, UGC, and NAC need to be exploited effectively. Health education and environmental education are the most neglected areas. Public at large is indifferent towards education. Corporate social responsibility finds rare expression. Holistic rather than fragmented education is required. 
Dedicated teacher education is the need of modern India. The identity of education as highest interdisciplinary is really recognized and respected. Content pedagogy technology integrated education is still a big challenge. Skill training is lacking. Education is failing to appreciate innovative courses such as taxonomy of educational skills. Teacher education on life skills like literal and critical thinking, innovativeness, problem solving needs to be strengthened. We need thorough preparation for teacher education at all levels from pre-primary through higher. Let's talk about human resource planning. <clears throat> Manpower planning is practically absent in teacher education. There is remarkable increase in the number of teacher education institutions and there is uneven distribution of teacher education institutions from very few to very high concentration. There are teachers without professional degrees. There are para teachers, private tutors and shiksha karmis. The recourse to law paid and untrained teachers has attracted considerable protest from both educational specialists and teachers unions. In August 2004, graduate teachers in Himachal Pradesh demonstrated against the state's decision to fill over 1500 new vacancies with para teachers, while trained teachers remain unemployed. The Madhya Pradesh government has famous education guarantee scheme. All future teachers in the former system will be Shiksha Karmis on performance contract. On a radium per month of the para teachers appointed in different states varies from state to state. There is one more problem in India that is teacher absenteeism in India. We will have a glance. 25 percent of teachers were found to be absent from schools and only half were teaching during unannounced visits to a national representative sample of government primary schools in India. Absence rate varied from 15 percent in Maharashtra to 42 percent in Jharkhand with higher rate concentrations in poorer states. This was a study commissioned by the World Bank and done by Harvard University, Michel Kramer, Karthik Murlidharan, 2004. Scenario of school teaching in India. According to a report published in India Today on October 13, 1997, and which says 30 percent of children up to class 5 in government schools of Punjab could not read or write. On any given day, 36 percent of the government primary teachers were found absent. In absenteeism, Punjab ranks third after Bihar and Jharkhand. Only 49.8 percent of the teachers present were found teaching. The government spends rupees 700 per child per month. It is being proposed that the money be handed over to private management so that free elementary education up to class 7th continues. Failure of the students in Haryana State Board examination has been attributed to the teachers largely. Very little teaching goes on in government schools. Often teachers are just not there. Coming late, leaving early is the acceptable practice. Teaching aids are seldom available, let alone be used. Three quarters of the teachers interviewed by the probe team are compelled to do multi-grade teaching. Per capita expenditure on education in Himachal Pradesh is twice as high as the all India average. For every teacher, there are 25 pupils in Himachal Pradesh, whereas the figure is 47 for Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. The rapport between parents and teachers too seems to be better in Himachal Pradesh than in any other state covered by the probe. Now let us have a look at students perception of teachers. What do the students say about the teachers? 
as per the report published in Times of India on October 21, 2005. A survey was done with the support of the Center for Environmental Planning and Technology, CEPT, Ahmedabad. The results are based on responses from 6,443 students on what they think of teachers and the quality of teaching in the state-aided schools in urban and rural areas. It covers students from class 8 to 11. And it says, the study revealed lack of awareness exposure amongst teachers. Teachers come to class unprepared. Most teachers have no idea of syllabi and subject matter, as I have told you. But at the same time, language teachers are ignorant about teaching skills. Most social science teachers are found to be from other disciplines. Though the state may have spent a huge sum of rupees 11.95 crore on karma yogi training to 1,68,108 teachers since the year 2002, 69% of the students from class 8 and 77 percent from class 11 found no impact of this training on the teachers. Now, the question arises, what is it all about teacher today? Aptitude tests prepared for teachers need to be incorporated into the admission system. Facilitator strategies are required for conducive classroom climate. Diagnostic and remedial programs need to be introduced. Orientation in humanistic education is required to enhance the self-concept, instructional mastery, social relationships, and creativity. Quality of education should be improved in schools so as to do away with parallel schools, private coaching classes. Teachers need to be trained on numerous educational skills. Training of teachers on transactional analysis is required. Teachers need to be educated on multiple intelligence skills. Teachers should be prepared for special groups. Teachers need to be prepared for inclusive education also. Teachers need to specialize many areas such as peace education, inclusive education, health and yoga education, ICT in education. Teachers should be groomed on child-inspired approaches. Teachers should be prepared on holistic approach also. And teachers should promote cooperative learning and participatory approach. Teachers should keep pace with evolving technology and realize technology integrated education. Now, when we come to the conclusion of this topic, what we can say is that to be the product of Indian education is a matter of pride for all of us. We are the product of persistent patience, competence and struggle of our teachers. Our schools have always been and are the learning organizations in the prayer, in the classroom, in the corridor, in the library in the laboratory, in the play fields, in the dispensary, in the community and everywhere. That is why today the globe at large aspires to emulate Indian education. More efforts are being made countrywide to realize compatible school education. One thing more, at the same time, there is evident chaos in the field of education and teacher education. Teacher education has lost its identity over the years. State displeasure, judicial over activism, distrust of the trust, learning dissatisfaction of the learners, and professional dissatisfaction of the teachers are fully evident. Neither we have education of the Orient nor that of the modern. We have largely failed to appreciate the present and grossly failed to peep into the future. There are questions on our effect attributes, 
knowledge base and skill repertoire. Rather than valued, the teachers are abused. Countrywide treatment as shiksha karmic, teaching assistants and temporary teaching assistants and ad hoc teachers is ridiculous. We indoctrinate a lot of inclusive education, but do a little. What to talk of job areas with speech mechanistic ramps speak a lot of our concern for the visually disadvantaged. Our research and development have been mechanized. When will we learn to locate ourselves, justifying our existence as teachers? That is the moot question. Thank you very much.